up, kings and queens? It's your girl, my... Whoa, why do you look like this? I don't use my mask. <laughs> well, let me use it. Mm, that's kind of better. Whatever. What up, kings and queens? It's your girl, my... Back with another video. Why is it saying my door is open? Oh, all right. What up? What it do? Um, y'all, this is gonna be a vlog because I'm got a little bit of errands to run, but like barely. So I was like, <clears throat> that was crazy. <coughs> Ew. I was like, let me do a vlog. I was like, let me do a vlog because I haven't vlogged it forever because you know coronavirus. We've been stuck in the house. Still coronavirus. Still, we ain't going nowhere. But I'm. <laughs> I need to go do my mail, like, vote, you know? I need to do my mail ballot. Mail-in ballot, because I've been procrastinating, and I think I only have, like, a week left, so I need to go mail that out. <laughs> um, And I need to I need to go to Bye Bye Baby, because I'm registered. So I'm only registered at a couple places. I'm registered at Target, Bye Bye Baby, and Amazon. That's it. My Amazon thing, there's really nothing on there. Just, like, Spanish books that I've, because online is easier to find that. Um, just like books in Spanish, a bunch of books in Spanish are on my Amazon registry. And then on my Target registry is like most of my stuff. Like the pack and plays on there, my strollers on that on Target. Most of the things I want are from Target's registry. Buy my baby, I kind of just made the registry because I wanted the free gift. But I'm like, let me go to buy my baby, check it out. So I'm gonna go to buy my baby. It's kind of far, not that far, but it's a little far from where I live. Like 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 a 40 minute drive. Nah, 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 I'm over exaggerating. Like a, like a 30 minute, maybe, maybe 25 minute drive. So I'm gonna go there, do that, buy my baby, um, get the free gift. I might buy something. Like I've been really trying not to buy stuff because everybody, everybody and their mom is like, oh, you should just wait for your shower because people are gonna buy you gifts. Just wait for your shower. Um, and I don't want to, <laughs> like, I want to wait for my shower because yeah, I know people are going to buy me gifts, but I also don't feel like it's fair for me to wait for my shower for the things that I know I absolutely need that are like super expensive. Like for one, the stroller that I want, if I would have bought it when I put it on my registry, when I first found it, it was $160. Now it's $279 and I totally regret that. I wish I would have bought that, that stroller like as soon as I put on my registry but I didn't know how much it was like I didn't know it was on sale it was on sale so it's $160 then now it's $279 ain't nobody buying that like I mean yes but I don't expect like my family and friends to like give me 200 like buy me a $279 stroller you're probably like girl why do you have a $279 stroller first off the stroller is elite it's a tra it's a whole travel system so it's not just a stroller guys it's a stroller and the car seat and the stroller and the car seat can last until the baby is, like, a toddler. Well, at least a stroller can. It's, like, one of those, you know, you put the base in and then you pop the thing in your car. And then, but, like, you can just pop it out of the car and pop it into the stroller. And it, like, has, like, seven different ways it can be. And then it, the stroller can also be for for an adult like for not for, for an adult girl for a, a toddler so i'm like okay 279 dollars but if i can keep this stroller for like my kid's entirety of strollerage and my family we're not really stroller people like there's a bunch of stuff i'm gonna start my car y'all hold on because i need to go to the post office um there's a bunch of stuff that my family like we don't do like in terms of babies it's just like the babies in our family don't do that <laughs> so we don't get them accustomed to those things we don't even we don't play because we'd be like no and one of those things is strollers i have two baby cousins um on on my mom's side of the family well, that's why i pointed this way because they all live over here um who are in most of my vlogs the cousins that i have in most of my vlogs um yeah they one is three she just turned three and one is like eight seven eight right i don't even remember him riding in a stroller like <laughs> my family is so like as soon as you can walk baby guess what you're doing you're walking <laughs> stroller stroller as soon as my little three-year-old um 
cousin could walk. That's that's what you're doing. You're walking. What? Why? What? You're you're walking because why would we bring a stroller everywhere just because you want to be in a stroller? No. I mean, they do bring it when we like. They only bring the stroller out when like when what when. When we're at like a festival, like when we're like, cause we have like days, like I, I don't know, I live in the middle of nowhere, so we have like every township has like a day, like we have Frank Franklinville Day. There's like Glassboro. I don't think there's Glassboro Day. There's like, you know, you know if you're from South Jersey, there's like Newfield Day. There's like Clayton Day. There's like every township has like a day. So those are like our festivals or whatever. <clears throat> Um, and those can be, like, pretty crowded, and there's, like, a lot of people, and there's, like, sometimes they have, like, little rides, like, Ferris wheels and stuff. Um, so, like, things like that, or, like, amusement parks or something, that's the only time that they put that girl in the stroller. Otherwise, we ain't doing no strollers, and I totally agree. As soon as you can walk, you can walk. Anybody picking you up, anybody carrying you, you got feet, use them, because you can, okay? Uh, and it's the same thing, I feel the same way about pacifiers, like, my mom never really none of my little cousins use pacifiers and I me and my brother didn't use pacifiers but the thing is I now have a uh y'all are probably like why are you scrambling I now have a what is it called uh I used to say it all the time I have a or I have oral fixation I have an oral fixation uh, well I don't anymore but I used to when I was a I was a kid like for most of my childhood actually actually into my teens and some of my um young adult life i have an, had an oral fixation um and it's probably from the fact that we didn't use pacifiers and so because of that i think i appease myself with other things and put other things in my mouth so like i would always put barbie's shoes or like brat shoes or like in my mouth and just like chew on them and my dad like he chews on straws like he always has to have something in his mouth and that's kind of how I am I always have to have something in my mouth like a straw or I'm gonna go before y'all get green like a straw or just something something always has to be in my mouth go Mr. Truck go uh sh yeah there's a truck trying to pull out anyway yeah something always has to be in my mouth right and I think part of that is in due to the fact that I, we didn't use pacifiers. And it could be and it could not be. I could be 100% wrong. But I just know that I, like, always had to have something in my mouth as a kid. And we, my mom never let us really use pacifiers. So it was, like, straws, <laughs> shoes, like, toys, toys in my mouth. Something I need, something has to be in there. Wow, I'm just trying to, your girl just, oh, I should have gotten this lane. What am I doing? Do you know how to drive? I know people are probably like, all the people out here, do you know how to drive, girl? I'm about to park in the corner. I really don't even need to park, but I don't know what you're doing. Like, sir, ma'am, this is mad quick. I don't even actually need to park. I'm just dropping this in the box, but I want to be able to pull out and get the fuck out of here. So we're going to just fake park, okay? I've never actually parked up in here because... Who the fuck goes in the fucking John? I don't. You would think I'm going to bag into this space, but I'm not. All right, y'all. Let me go drop this in the John real quick. I don't even think I'm going to turn my car off. But I think I'm going um, to hit y'all when we get to Bye Bye Baby. Okay, because it's getting kind of long and wasn't supposed to be like this. This was just supposed to be real quick. So I'm going to hit you when we get to Bye Bye Baby. Okay. So first, I almost died. Second... Why did I pull into Bye Bye Baby, right? Windows open, music blasting, but then the song switches from, like, a chill, you know, Erykah Badu song to Cupcake, Lord Jesus. First thing that I heard was, fuck that bitch ass nigga. Like, all this cursing, and there's, like, a baby, and her, this lady with her baby, and I'm just like, these white people are like, why is she in the Bye Bye Baby parking lot? Get lit! <laughs> but that's what kind of mom I am, okay? But now I'm we about to see we about we about to go in so I can get this stuff and we put my mask on. Mask on. Mask on. So now I want well it's aka. Now I want a Chipotle, but I was on my way to going somewhere else after this, like the premium outlets, because they have a car list. But then I pull up here and I'm like, oh shit. 
there's a Carter's right here. So my ass is gonna go to this Carter's and then I'm gonna go to the Chipotle and then I'm gonna go home. Y'all, get me out of the store. I done, I was really about to spend a wreck, okay? Oh, so crazy thing. I didn't understand the discount in Carter's until I got to the register. And like, I once I bought stuff, I didn't want to stay in there. So we have to go to the outlets because I have to go to the other Carter's. But I'm going to pull that first. Um, so it was like the clearance section in Carter's. I know y'all probably can't hear me, but oh well. The clearance section in Carter's was, you got, whatever percent off so all my things i got i shopped in the clearance section so my stuff was like maybe like five dollars four dollars but you got the clearance plus another 40 percent off so i'm looking at the thing where he's bringing my stuff up like mind you i pay something for like thirty dollars i'm thinking oh i'm spending bread and then the discount was coming off something went down to four dollars something went down to five dollars i said Baby, if I would have no one. <laughs> so we're going to partners the other one. Bye. I'm really trying to restrain myself, but like, it's okay though because I'm buying stuff that's like nine months, six months, and 12 months. Everybody else I feel like is gonna buy me like newborn in like three months. So I think we'll be good. <laughs> I'm hoping. Recap real quick because some stuff just happened. Not really. I just got through a tsunami. High key. Not really. But like, dag. We were in one part of town. I'm like, okay, let's go before it starts raining, raining. Driving home, sky opens. I was like, you I might die. Um, but yeah, today was a lot. I don't even think I got that much vlogging footage besides me being in my car because, you know, that's the kind of life that happens. That always happens to me or whatever. Um, but we went to, let's see, recap. To bye bye baby ended up doing my registry which i wasn't going there to do i was just going to pick up my gift but went ended up filling out my registry at bye bye baby and getting my gift so video on the box went. people are weird yo they can't drive i'm ready to go slow. um yeah so video coming up of that the like what you get in it from bye bye baby um Went to, went to the mall to go to the bathroom, <laughs> but I, ended up, I didn't buy anything from the mall, I just walked, went to the bathroom and walked out. Um, so mall, went to Chipotle, went to Carter's, buy Chipotle, buy Chipotle, but then because I am too embarrassed to go back into the same Carter's and just get the same deals, I drove all the way to the Gloucester outlet, if you know where I'm at, you, or like what, I don't know, you probably don't know where that is, but they're they're basically like outlets, like premium outlets or whatever, went all the way to premium outlets, which was only like five minutes away from where I was already, um, to their Carter's, and then bought more stuff from Carter's, literally I spent like 40, like I spent like 40 some, 50 some dollars in the one Carter's, and then the other Carter's I spent like 20 something. So I, yeah, I bought a lot of shit. Then went to Old Navy because I need to get some like maternity clothes. And I like Old Navy's clothes anyway. Like this is the Old Navy shirt. This isn't a maternity shirt. It's just, it was, this is a shirt that I had from when I was before Ecuador. So this is like an extra large. And it fits me really, really, really big right now. Which I like for pregnancy belly because it's like perfect. Don't know where's the bump at so i went to there went to old navy end up getting myself like three little outfits because i want to start wearing dresses and probably when school starts back up if i have to go to school that that'll be like mostly what i wear because i'm not buying no new pants <sighs> because the only reason my pants it's not my pants all fit the only reason that they don't like fit fit is because of my stomach because you know, i'm not gaining weight anywhere so it's they're not they like I can't wear them the way I want to wear them. But I have like the thing for you to do that. So I'll just do that when I have to. But if I have a bunch of dresses, like I can wear dresses to work if we have to go back to work. The only job I can't. Well, both my other two jobs I can't wear dresses. But my first job, which is the one that I really care about being professional at, is the one that I can't wear 
you know, I can wear dresses. I can't wear leggings in there. But my second job, if we go back to that school, I can wear jeans. I mean, I can wear leggings. So I can wear leggings at the second job. Um, yeah, I just can't wear leggings at the first one. So it's like I'll change in between and just wear leggings at the second job and my t-shirt that I think he gives us. So it's not a big deal. But the, uh, yeah, in the movies, I wear the shirt that they gave me and I wear black pants, which I, I have. And that black pants that I already wear already were already too big. So hopefully that'll like work out in my favor. But anyway, yeah, so we did a lot of random shopping that I'm looking back on now and like, why did I do that? Mm, because I have a problem. <laughs> Y'all know it, or maybe you don't know it, but I have a problem. I have a shopping problem and malls and stuff have been closed. And I don't have a shopping, an online shopping problem because I actually don't like online shopping because I, I just won't buy things. Online shopping, I'll put a bunch of stuff in my cart and then like never buy it and just like leave the site. But in the store, I'm like, ooh, 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 ooh. Then my eye catches something else when I'm at the register. Like it's just a lot, <laughs> it's just a lot. I was cool when malls weren't open. I was like, <laughs> save me money. Because I'm so indecisive when buying things online because I'm like, I'm not a person that's going to return something. Uh, uh, if I bought it online, first off, if I bought it in general, oh, I could have went, but I'm not going to do it. If I bought it in general, I can return it. Hmm, that wasn't lucky. I'm just going to go straight because I can get to my house going straight too, but these stupid ass cars are in my way. I have a whole ass Humvee. Yo, I'm sorry, dude, behind me. I'm really not, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles for you. We can do it, we can do it. No, we can't. Because y'all are stupid. Are you turning? Go straight. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. So yeah, I'm not gonna go, I'm not someone who's gonna return something that I bought online if it doesn't fit or if it like doesn't look the way I want it to look. Um, not that I would really return something in a store either, but the difference is if I buy it in the store, I can try it on, because actually at Old Navy, this Old Navy anyway, the fitting rooms were open. I didn't use them, but they were open. Um, but at least in the, in the store, I could try it on. There's like no excuse for me buying something and not liking it. Whereas online, you like see a picture of it and somebody else wearing it, and you're like, that's cute, and you buy it because you think it would look cute on you, but it actually doesn't. Um, yeah, so, right. So I just like never end up buying things online, unless it's Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova is like the only place that I buy stuff online. But even there, it takes me forever to buy stuff. I'm always like, because I'm so indecisive, I'll just be like, I can't do it. Ah, ooh, 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 and I won't buy it. So. That's the life that I'm living. Um, yeah, I'm finally home. So, hype about that. Pulling in the drivity way. My mom has been blowing me up. But I asked her to come with me and she said no. So, it's 100% her fault. Because <laughs> she came with me, I would have bought all this stuff anyway. I'm going to go in the house, finish eating my Chipotle, show my mom all the crap that I bought. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.